I'm going to set the air screw on this carburetor to factory specs. So I've got a shop manual for uh, this snowmobile. So I'm going according to that. So whatever I set my carburetors to, that does not necessarily mean that it's the correct setting for someone else's carburetors. So I'm just going to turn this in. And I've got a black mark that I put on the housing that basically coincides with the uh, screwdriver slot when it's turned in, when that uh, air screw is in. So now I'm going to back it out. So I got it turned in. So that should be pretty close to what my shop manual shows for the air screw setting for this carburetor. The next adjustment that I would like to make on these carburetors are the idle screws. So it's, it's actually a pin that enters into the bore and it acts as a stop for the throttle slide. So to set those, I would like to have the throttle slides installed. The factory shop manual gives me a drill bit size that I can use for setting the throttle slides. So I've got the throttle slides installed. I'm going to adjust on the idle screw. And the slide is starting to lift up. So I can just get that drill bit underneath now. Very little resistance. And the drill bit appears to be at the bottom of the curve here and it appears to also be basically in the center of that throttle slide just looking at it okay so that should be I'll check this again very slight drag, a little tighter. Okay, so that carburetor has the throttle slide set, and the uh, other carburetor is already set as well. At this point, I only have one choke plunger installed. The lock nut here is still loose. So if I turn on here, it changes the position of the plunger in the bore. So right now I'm adjusting it so that the choke plunger is quite a ways down inside that bore from where it should be, I think. So if I pull on here, see there's quite a bit of play under that choke lever. So I'd like to uh, show what happens when I adjust on here and have tension on the uh, choke lever. So here's what happens when I pull on the choke and adjust on the cable. So the gap is getting smaller. Before I took the carburetors off the machine, I used a caliper and I took a measurement here and then I set the caliper aside and I was using it now to uh, basically get this distance back to where it was before. This is the choke cable that was uh, seemed to be uh, installed correctly. It wasn't loose like the other one. So with this distance back basically where it was before, uh, now I've taken 
try to take a measurement from the bottom side here to the end of the plunger and then I want to transfer that measurement to the other cable so I, I don't necessarily want to just install the other cable and uh, use the same measurement here because it could be off I want to uh, establish it here that it's try and get this the same between the two uh, cables and uh, not so much worried about this on the other uh, cable so bit of a long uh, description of what uh, I'm doing here with the uh, chokes but that's sort of the plan